different star Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can't even touch us We found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Hello and welcome back to my channel and a Meggy vlog, yay! It was about time, wasn't it? It has been a little while since I last updated you on the Megatron. I think the last video was me introducing the saddle again, ready to get back on board. And I'm pleased to say that that was all very successful. Meggy came back very, oh, is that the spot? Is that the spot? Oh, yes, mum. Um, Mega came back very well into ridden work. We did hacking, we did some stuff into the school and she was fab. I just felt like there was something still slightly niggling away there. Nothing that maybe anybody else would notice, but I felt when I was in the school particularly, if I was implying my inside leg that there was just some tension still there and that she wasn't quite happy. So I followed my gut once again. It's not proved me wrong so far and had her re-scoped. She did have some mild ulceration there, which both the vet and I are in agreement is probably from the stress of the surgery. So being on box rest for four weeks, being on painkillers and antibiotics, which can cause flare ups if your horse is ulcery. So we thought we'll give it another crack at treating them, see if she improves. Fingers crossed, we have our rescope in the next couple of weeks, so we'll know for definite. But I am feeling really positive. She seems so much, as you will see, more relaxed and chilled. And just, yeah, little things like when I'm grooming her previously, if I ran the brush across like her tummy area, she would still slightly swish her tail and maybe be quite occasionally girthy when I was tucking her up and she hasn't been at all now. So very positive signs. And I'm hoping that that's going to be confirmed by our scope, like I say, in the next couple of weeks. But we are able to ride again still. So I thought I would bring you guys along today and just show you a little session in the school as I appreciate you haven't seen her since her surgery, like before her surgery. So you guys don't know what she's like, unless you've been following me over on Instagram because I've shared a couple of little sneaky peeks over there, but I haven't filmed a whole session. They've just been like little tiny clips. So yeah, let's get going. I mean, Meg, you could look a little bit more enthusiastic about the prospect of being ridden, no? Oh, look at that lip. So floppy. <laughs> so relaxed. No stress here, hey Meg? <laughs> so before any ride now, Mega is fed a handful of chaff just to help with any excess acid, to stop any acid splashback and just provide a bit of a buffer to the stomach lining and help keep her comfortable while she's being ridden. <laughs> show this very well filming one-handed but these buckles are spring-loaded so when you do your girth up it just pops in the hole and does itself up and Meggie doesn't mind at all And that 
Dad. Is Megwin all tucked up and ready to go? And as you will see, the sun has blessed us with its appearance. Ready for our ride? Let's go. session with Mega in the school because this is where she has always shown more tension rather than out hacking for example I always try to start the session really relaxed chilled don't ask anything too much from her initially so you'll see I'm giving her lots of pats a nice loose rein although there is still contact there and I'm really pleased to see that she is taking that contact down and keeping a nice long and low natural head carriage. What I am loving seeing here as well is her little ears are pricked, she looks super chilled and relaxed and she's really striding out in that walk. serpentines getting her to flex around my inside leg and change the bend as we change the rein but I'm really happy with her self carriage here and how she was happy and willing to flex around my inside leg which was a much improvement from last time we tried this. some transitions whether that's walk to halt or later in the session we'll do walk to trot just to keep it varied and interesting what a lovely square halt if you've been watching our previous vlogs through Mega's Rehab you will know we are big fans of raised poles so I always like to try and include these in the sessions too just to again keep it varied and interesting but to help them engage their core and really start working through and over their back. into but nothing drastic. I'm really pleased with how she's looking here and how she's working. She was taking my hand forward and the contact forward and she looks a really nice picture. I'm really pleased.
started to ask and include some more lateral movements. So we were doing some leg yielding just in walk, which I was really pleased with Mega's reaction to, because as I said, applying some pressure with my inside leg, she has responded with a bit of tension to previously, but she was really responsive to this and I was really pleased with how she was going. really important to remember that Mega is in rehab so in between all of these different elements where I'm asking for a little more from her she has a little walk break on a much longer rein and is able to just walk around freely where I'm not asking too much from her and then I will pick up the contact again and ask for something else. So I was actually really pleased with that transition. You'll have heard that I gave Mega some praise with my voice. I'm really happy seeing how she's swinging and going along on a loose rein, taking the contact down, looking very relaxed and happy. So now it is time to do the same on the other rein and I'm sure you'll agree that this transition is even smoother and I believe that is because Mega is still anticipating there to be pain when I ask for a transition so throughout each session each time I ask for a transition and she realises there isn't pain she just improves and improves and I hope that that will continue. ask for trot transitions to reinforce that there is no pain there this time with a little more of a contact and asking for more roundness from her and as you can see she is looking fabulous I am so pleased with how she looks here almost dressage ready <laughs> Absolutely delighted with that. Probably our best schooling session to date. Yay, clever Maggie! Oh, I can't tell you how pleased I am with her and that session. It just goes to show that, you know, what might seem as like a little minor thing can have a huge impact on your horse's performance. So today, like going in circles, serpentines, anything like that was just not a problem. There was no tension there. 
there's don't get me wrong still going to be a bit of pain memory understandably to work through i don't think that's going to take too long to iron out so yeah i am super pleased this is exactly how i imagined her to be after we'd fixed all of her pain issues and i'm now very excited for what the future holds time to get this sweaty betty all washed obviously i worked off a bit of a sweat too i'm not sure what footage has been captured because i think my pivo died halfway through the session but hopefully you will see a little bit of everything and enjoy a little mega update as to where we are up to i will keep you posted on how her scope results go and what adventures we've got planned coming up ahead but make sure you like comment and subscribe and i shall see you for another video very very soon mega's worn out now <laughs> say bye bye maggie